The sun is up, it's a beautiful day My beginning will be as bright as the sun Come, won't you come along And it feels so bright It's like luck is raining on me Go and follow your heart well, hello all my beautiful friends out there in YouTube land and welcome back to the Hewitt Homestead. I'm Devin and I am so glad you've joined us today. If you've been following along, you know that we are living in an RV on 11 acres uh, down here in Florida and we are carving out a homestead from raw land. In the last couple of videos, we've been clearing uh, this area right here behind me. Uh, we've been clearing some more stuff down there by the water. Uh, yep, we do live on a river. And uh, one of these days, I'm going to learn how to fish. <laughs> uh, a couple of things that we're going to get done today. We are actually, been, we've been looking at a plot plan. We're trying to determine where our property line is over here on this side of the property. Uh, because we don't want to, you know, encroach on our neighbor's property. Nobody lives over there, but uh, we still don't want to mess around with property lines. Um, so, yeah, we are going to... Do that this morning and then we're going to get back on cleaning up and clearing more land. We got a lot of stuff to burn. We got a lot of stuff to cut. It's going to be a big day. All right, guys. Thanks for being here. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do that. If you haven't liked, go ahead and do that. And let's get busy having fun. Work, fun, oh yeah. I think slide out the way real easy. A lot of carbon in your It's top heavy. It might, the top part might fall first. <clears throat> oh, that's dangerous. Lord help us. Coming back your way. Yeah, that's dangerous. Yeah. I live for danger. This is where a set of good lumberjack wedges would be really handy. But I ain't got none. And Santa didn't bring me none for Christmas. And it's also really hard trying to figure out where you want to put your camera when you're trying to pull down a dead tree that could fall any direction. Let's try this one. Lean into it. Come on, baby. Uh, I need a little more leverage. I can't believe it's hanging on. That thing is old and dead and rotten. I mean, there's only a little bit of hinge wood. 
Must be more hinge wood than I thought. Right there, right there. Keep going. Uh, <sighs> the vine's holding it up. I'll bring the side by side. We'll use this tree as a pivot point. So we come from the dead tree. Coming around this pine tree right here. No one down here to my hands. We gotta name it side by side. It's too hard to say side by side all the time. Pioneer, that's three syllables. We need like a two syllable. Like a, like a, uh, call it Frank or Jimmy or maybe Betsy or Sue. Let's go get Sue. I like Sue, you like Sue? I once knew, huh. call it Sue. I once knew a boy named Sue. We got one vine up there looped around the top. It's a thick one holding this whole thing up. Oh my goodness. There is nothing about clearing this land that is fast or easy. When you gotta cut a big tree like this three or four times to get the thing all the way down. You don't get very far in one day, but we are starting to open up this forest. And you can really start to tell a difference. Yeah. It's gonna be real good when we're done. with a big cog gear on it and it's got a smaller cog there I don't know I don't know what that could have been to it's heavy yeah we could put that up and use it for decoration somewhere
All right, here's what we got. We got a lot of these trees cut down, and we're going to be able to use a lot of these uh, trunks. We're going to cut them, set them to the side, let them dry out. I don't know. Uh, maybe fence posts, maybe some crude uh, uh, chicken coop. But uh, now we're just getting all the vines. Well, some of the vines down. We can't get them all out, but you can see how open this is now over there towards the RV. Just give you a little panoramic view here. We're getting it, guys. Huh? What you got, baby? Oh, you pulling the sticks down? You gonna pull some vines down too? Good, baby. You're such a big helper. I'm so proud of you. Skyline, you gonna come help us? Clean up, pull these vines down. Look at mama, she's pulling vines out of the tree. She's strong. He's like, no, I'm good. Swing on it like Tarzan. Or I guess you'd be like Jane. I'm Tarzan, you're Jane. So we're standing right here, kind of a high spot, and we're looking out at the water. We're just trying to get a feel for what the what's going to be like from the elevation of the house, which is going to be much higher. You got a high, ooh, mama got a stump. Mama got a stump. That's a good idea. So as I stand up here, this is not even as high as the house is going to be because we got to build up on a stem wall foundation. We'll probably be more like that looking out over the water Dad, I wanna skip on that. and when you look out over across the forest Dad, it looks like that. I wanna skip on that even this probably isn't quite as high okay so there's the RV there's our well and our pump and then you look through here, this all used to be super thick. And we're looking over here into the forest. Been thinning the forest for a good ways over there. I mean, I don't know. I don't know if you can really appreciate the scope of how much stuff we've cut down in the last two days, two or three days, just from this video. But it's it's a lot. We've done a lot. Here's, here's the road. All right, so here's the road that we drive down all the time. You remember we used to have uh, bushes right up here against the edge, just thick. You cannot see into that forest, but you can now. I can already see this palmetto's dancing in the wind. When we never used to get up there in, in those woods, it was too thick. We never cut it this far. I'm feeling a major breeze coming off the water right now. And I would rarely feel much of a breeze coming off the water at this point. I'm just going to walk down here. Show you everything. Let me give you the widescreen angle. So we're done cutting, but we are not done for the day. No, sir, no, sir, no, ma'am. We, uh, we're burning now. Well, so we've got a bunch of stuff down here close to the water that I cut many weeks ago. Probably, I'd say, shortly after we moved in. So it's been down for a month and a half, maybe two months. Kids are playing on the trampoline. Okay, kids on the trampoline. We got Mama and Devrin down here feeding the fire. Hello, Miss Devrin. Huh? Yeah, the dock. Got a nice fire going. See how much brew, how much wind. You can see how much wind we got coming off of the shore. See how much that fire's blowing. Smoke's going downhill there. Woohoo! And now we can see into the woods from here.
hot dogs. Yeah, you can't stick